Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I got the sun right in my face, so I'm trying to go outside. And pirate's gonna come with me, apparently. I have all the animals out, so they're just like out there roaming around in the back. I'm gonna try to turn around here because I'm gonna show you guys future plans for spring and then move on from there. Pirate, you little butthead. We got it in here. Okay, so I'm in the garden. I just wanted to come in here and share with you guys um, a few things that are gonna be happening. Um, I went to Lowe's today and picked up eight fruit trees and I have a couple more coming. I'll explain that in a minute, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got um, because I don't know, why not? And then I'm gonna be cleaning out my greenhouse today, but I'm not gonna have that on camera because that's gonna be kind of boring, but let me just show you guys what I picked up at Lowe's because I didn't want to miss out this year. If you guys are like me and you guys missed out all, all the fruit trees last year because 2020 was crazy and just every single every single tree was gone. Like by the time I was ready to plant my fruit orchard, which I had planned on doing last year, there was nothing to plant. There was like maybe one apple tree and that's not going to get me nowhere. So um, let me see if I can get this on camera. Okay. Is that good? Okay. So this one is a Satsuma Japanese plum. And this one is good for eating and also making jams. This one's kind of stuck in there. Oh. This is the California Curl Free Peach. This one's good for canning and eating fresh. I do have a little bit of water in each bucket because, um, they're probably going to be sitting in here for a couple of weeks, at least two weeks, maybe three, um, before we actually prep them to go in the ground because um, it's just, I don't know, it's, we've got so much going on that we don't actually have, we have the space to put it, we just don't have the ground prepped, I don't have water ran over there yet, um, so that's just another project, and we just finished, what are you looking at? Oh, the animals are coming okay and we just finished um, getting the buck pen ready so I know like crazy things so the next one I have here is this is the royal and sweet cherry um, I was gonna get another cherry I was gonna get a bean cherry as well but um, I'm kind of cautious to put too many cherry trees because um, hey Dexter my cat says hi because, um, I don't know, I heard they were toxic for the animals and, you know, I have goats. I feel like I have like a red mark right here. What's going on? Okay. And this one's kind of interesting. I've never planted this before. So this is a plum cot, which is part plum, part apricot. Um, I've actually had plum cots before and they're really good. Um, so when I saw that tree, I was kind of excited to grab that because it's kind of fun to grow unique things, right, that you don't normally see. So... Pirate, leave my plants alone. Of course, he has to come check out all the new stuff. Oh, my goats keep playing in the background. Okay, and then I have four other trees over here in my gorilla cart because um, I didn't have any more five gallon buckets to put water. So, hopefully, this works out. You guys can see that, hopefully. Okay, so I got a Granny Smith apple tree and a Hellhaven peach. Um, the Granny Smith should do okay. My neighbors have one, which is, I don't know if you can see it, it's like right there. It's probably over 20 years old and it still produces, so that's why I picked that up. And then I picked up um, a nectarine. This is just a good something to eat right off the tree. And then the Seckled Pear Sugar Plum. I don't know sugar pear. I've never had a sugar pear. Or maybe I have and I just didn't know it was called a sugar pear. So I'm going to come over here because I got to get all the sun. Um, so I picked those up because again it was just stuff I wanted to grab now while I saw it and hopefully it wouldn't be sold out but I didn't want to take the chance because you know how that goes. Um, so I picked all those up and then I had like I said I had two coming. I ordered two from this program. can't remember what it's called but I guess they go to certain, wherever your area is, 
I'm in Southern California. They have, I think, like three or four different high schools or just schools that participate. They will sell you um, a fruit tree or two variety of fruit trees um, that are native to your area. So, for instance, there, I got an apricot and a gala apple tree. I could have bought more. I only got one of each, but I just didn't want to be overwhelmed with too many fruit trees. And I knew I was going to get a Granny Smith because I wanted a baking apple tree. Um, I was this close to getting a Honeycrisp apple tree at um, Lowe's today, but I kind of said, mm, maybe that's too many apple trees. We might just want to wait, but who knows? Uh, knowing me, I'll probably go back and get something. Um, I almost got an almond and a walnut but we used to have an almond tree years ago and it produced a little bit but I just eh, it's not my thing to crack them open and have all that effort I don't know maybe I'll change my mind later on in the future so yeah um I got my dog in the background over there um so anyways I'm gonna be planting these trees where I showed you guys in the last video where we're putting our buck pin like kind of next to that we're gonna be building a fence so that animals can't get in there and ruin my trees and yeah so I mean that's a big disappointment so we're gonna put a fence we're gonna put I, like I said I have 10 trees two are on their way so 10 total and then I hopefully have room to plant more extra because my husband was doing the math he said we could probably do 30, 20 trees which is plenty um, probably way more than I ever need but um, yeah it's nice to just say, oh, look, let's grab that because we have room to put it. <laughs> so we're going to just, like I said, I'm going to start with what I got here. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to run to run over to Home Depot to see what they have um, because, like I said, I've been wanting these trees and I was so disappointed last year that I wasn't able to get them that when I saw them, I kind of jumped on it. So yeah, there you have it. So anyways, that is what I did today and I'm actually going to be tackling our greenhouse back here because you guys can see our shelving and stuff I need to seal it like I'm gonna hopefully get started on that today but I don't think I have any paintbrushes which is kind of nerve-wracking because I was just at Lowe's so I think I'm going to just clear it out get all the junk out of there and then use the leaf blower and just blow all the dirt and debris and everything out of there as much as I can and then come back with you know a rag or something maybe wipe it down and then I'm gonna use that I have a water sealer that's been in there for a year <laughs> that I was supposed to do like last season but it just you know everything just kind of there's always something that happens or comes along um obviously because my garden is just like a junk like it's it's falling apart like <laughs> it needs to get redone but you know what happens here on the farm is like there's always a project to be done and there's always like there's always one that you're doing and 10 more that need to be done so I feel like this one always gets kind of pushed to the end even though I've been saying for years that it needs to get redone it'll happen I just don't know that it's gonna happen this year so we'll see but I definitely want to get this painted um, I'm thinking of painting this pergola black and kind of reconstructing it a little bit my husband kind of was just playing around with it um, when we were building this garden that he just kind of threw some stuff up there but I think I'm gonna have him reconfigure it a little bit like I think I'm gonna have him take off the long boards because there's two I don't know if you guys can see it. there's one big one and then there's like a two by four under it I'm gonna have him take off the two by fours I believe because um, they don't need to be there it's kind of like weird how he has it set up here so yeah we're gonna figure this out and then have it redone and then maybe fix the lattice in the back it looks a little bit um, it looks a little bit more Asian I don't know if it's Asian inspired um, ornamental like that I just I don't know it's not me I kind of want it more a little classic look so again that's gonna be something to redo so hopefully we'll get a few little things done out of that and then get it painted and then that's it for the garden for now and then hopefully <laughs> maybe a year or two we'll get all of the beds redone remade rebuilt I should say um, and then maybe add a couple. I know I mentioned before that I wanted to add a couple more beds. And then we do have some electrical work that my husband is trying to put in. I don't know if I can walk over there and show you. It might be hard to see. But we have um, some electrical that he needs to connect to the front. Because we just re-landscaped our front yard. And um, the electrical runs into the garden. So he wanted to build some sort of like electrical like box or shed um to kind of have all that and then they kept plugs in it to plug in all his um 
I don't know, like chargers and stuff for his um, like leaf blower and stuff like that. So I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a post right there. This is their marking where we have the electrical ran to because going straight into our front yard, we have a lamp post, which is not connected yet. That's like the last thing <laughs> that hasn't gotten done in our front yard. So when that's done, our front yard will be officially done. Um, and then, like I said before, I had this box here and I wanted to put another one, maybe do even like a long one all along the fence, who knows, or just another short one. And then I would like to put all of my like raspberries and boysenberries and bushes like that. Um, speaking of, I did pick up a raspberry today. Um, I picked up this one. It's like the golden, a fall gold raspberry. Um, I was actually going to order this from Gurney's because I have an order that I haven't sent out yet. I haven't ordered actually officially, but I have a bunch of stuff in my cart and that was one of them. So I think I'm going to cancel that because it's only like, it's like 12 bucks, um, under $12. And then I got a couple of grape plants because for the life of me, I can't grow grapes and grapes grow great in my area. Like almost everybody I talk to that has some sort of plant or anything in their yard always says, Hey, I, grapes grow great. I'm like, really? <laughs> Cause they don't grow for me. I, I'm lucky to get one bundle of grapes every year. Um, sometimes nothing. So maybe it's just me, but anyways, um, so I'm gonna leave you guys with that and I will talk to you guys next time. I got to get started on this greenhouse. It is just, it's a mess. And then once I get it cleaned out, like I said, I'm going to seal that wood shelving and then that'll be done for my, I'll be done. <laughs> I'll be done for now. So until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.